Foxes, what's up? I hope you're having a great day, cause I am. I just did the quest for Temple of the Eye, which is the opener to the new RuneCraft minigame Guardians of the Rift, and I'm here to give you a simple and quick guide on it. I really appreciate all the support, hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons for me, thanks. So starting off, join a populated world. I've been using American worlds which tend to be more populated especially in the lower numbers. Or you could join the clan chat to find populated worlds. Since it is a minigame, there is also a teleport for it, and peek until the last game ends and then step through the barrier. Wear your Varrock chess piece so you collect one more piece of fragment when you mine. Make sure to equip your pickaxe to save an inventory space. You should consider bringing along rune pouches to increase experience gained. If you bring along a chisel, you can use your charged cell to create a rift guardian instead of placing it in the cell for the barrier. This can help reduce runtime, as the rift guardians are found right next to the workbench which you'll be crafting your guardian essence at. Once inside, grab a weak cell if you're planning to place it in the barrier. If playing on a populated world, it might not be necessary. Grab 10 uncharged cells and head to the middle right, climb down the rocks and get ready to mine some fragments. Make sure to use your spec if you're using the dragon pickaxe. Keep mining until you have roughly 100 to 140 fragments, then climb back up and head straight to the workbench. You'll turn fragments into guardian essence until your inventory is full, if you're using your rune pouches, make sure to fill them up now. While you're crafting the guardian essence, look to the upper left of your screen and look at which portals are open as you'll be running to one once your inventory is full and they don't stay open forever. Keep in mind, your current rune crafting level will determine what portals you can go through. For example, if you don't have 77 rune crafting, you won't be able to go into the blood altar portal, so plan accordingly. Once inside a portal, you'll be transported to the corresponding altar. Click on the altar to turn your guardian essence into elemental or catalytic guardian stones. Leave the same way you came in and then run up and click the giant guardian in the middle of the room to power him up. The altar you just visited should have automatically turned an uncharged cell into a charged cell. You can use this to power the barrier by putting it in the cell in front of the room or run back to the rift guardians that are right next to the workbench. Only 10 guardians can be active at a time. So, if you can't make a guardian yet, just hold on to your charged cell and keep an eye in the upper left of your screen. You can craft an elemental guardian at the same time as someone else. Make sure to deposit your runes before going back to the workbench so you can fully utilize your bag space. Make sure to snag the yellow orb that acts as a portal whenever it's up. It will display an icon in the upper left corner of the screen under the number of rift guardians that are up. This teleport is only up for about 25 seconds, so act as soon as you see it. It will take you to a part of the map that has huge guardian remains, which, when mined, gives you guardian essence instead of fragments and fills your bag up rather quickly. This eliminates the workbench for one full inventory. Take the yellow orb back when your bag is full. Remember to fill rune pouches too. Then choose an open portal like normal. Those are the basic steps. From here on, it's rinse and repeat while keeping your eyes peeled for any more yellow orbs. So remember, watch for yellow orbs, Keep checking to see which portals are open, get a full inventory of guardian essence at the workbench. Go through a portal, make elemental or catalytic guardian stones, power up the guardian, create rift guardians, deposit the runes, use workbench to turn fragments into guardian essence. Well, till next time guys, thanks for watching.